Follow along with me as I solve number three on page 84 in your workbook. Make sure that you've already attempted this problem on your own before you watch this video. I'm going to go through it step by step showing you how the bar model is drawn so you can check it as you go. I wrote my sentence on the bottom, Lindsay sold blank tarts in the afternoon, and now I'm going to read the word problem one sentence at a time showing you how I draw it. Lindsay made 400 tarts. I'm going to start by drawing an entire bar and labeling the whole bar 400 tarts. My next sentence says she sold three-fifths of them in the morning. So I'm breaking the bar up into five parts. Whoops, I need to have it all labeled 400. I broke my bar up into five parts and I'm going to label three of those units. M for morning. She sold those in the morning. Remember, I'm reading that second sentence in two parts because there are two fractions and I want to just take it one step at a time. So I'm reading the first part of the information first and then I'll go on to the next fraction. The next part of the sentence says one fourth of the remainder was sold in the afternoon. So we know that these two leftover units are the remainder and she says sells one fourth of the remainder in the afternoon. So I'm going to draw an arrow and I'm going to redraw the remainder. So this bar, the second bar, shows just what she has left over after she sold after she sold tarts in the morning. So now we want to split this up into four parts because it says one fourth of the remainder was sold in the afternoon. I'm going to label one of those units A for afternoon. I'm asked how many tarts did she sell in the afternoon? So A is my question mark. I want to find out how many she sold in the afternoon. And now I can solve. I'm going to solve using method one. I want to find one fourth, that's the afternoon, there's one out of two, three, four, so that's one fourth of, and we know of means times, so I can change that to a time sign. We're going to find one fourth of two, because this is what we redrew down below. There's two units out of one, two, three, four, five, out of a total of five units. So we want to find one fourth of two fifths, and that will be the fraction of tarts that were sold in the afternoon. So I'm going to solve, cross cancel, and multiply my numerator and denominator, and I get one tenth, which means that this unit is one-tenth of the whole bar that we originally drew, this whole bar. But now I want to know how many tarts is one-tenth. So I'm going to need to find, this was my first step, now I'm going to need to find one-tenth of, which means times, 400, which is all of the tarts that she had. Now I can cross-cancel. Both can be divided by 10. I multiply my numerators and denominators and get 40. So Lindsay sold 40 tarts in the afternoon. I'm going to write my answer in my sentence and I'm all done. Follow along as I solve problem one on page 85. I've already written my sentence at the bottom and now I'm going to read it one sentence at a time, drawing the bar model as I go. Christian made some pancakes. She sold three-fifths of them in the morning and one-fourth of the remainder in the afternoon. If she had 300 pancakes left, how many pancakes did she make? Well, I'm going to draw a bar that represents her pancakes, and we don't know how many total pancakes she made, so I'm going to label the whole thing with a question mark. Then I'm going to read just the first part of my second sentence. She sold three-fifths of them in the morning. So I'm going to label three of these units M for morning and one-fourth of the remainder in the afternoon. So I'm going to draw an arrow coming down from my remainder, and I'm going to draw just what's left after she sells three-fourths of them in the morning. I'll split this bar up into four parts because I know that she sells one-fourth of the remainder in the afternoon. So I split it up into four parts. One of those parts represents what was sold in the afternoon. I'm then told that she had 300 pancakes left. So I'm going to label what's left over as 300. And I could also put an L in each one of these boxes so that I know that that's what's left. I'm now going to solve by using method two, the unit method. If I know that these three units 
equals 300. Well, then one unit equals 100. I did 300 divided by 3 to find one unit, which is 100. So now if I look up top, well, if these are 100 each all together, they represent 200 pancakes. So that means that one of these units up here is 200. And so since they're equal units, each unit is 200 in the first bar model. My second step would be then to multiply 200 times 5, because I have 5 units in that first bar, which equals 1,000. So I'm going to cross out the question mark, write 1,000, and then I'll put it in my answer and check to make sure that it is reasonable. So Christian made 1,000 pancakes.